Hey, good morning, y'all. Uncle's gonna show you guys real quick how to draw Fibonacci channel lines, okay? So this is trading view right here. You wanna identify a trend. Here is the SPY. We've been on the downtrend since January, okay? So we go to here, we go here, Fib channel. We start from the top. We wanna find a trend. So we're on a downtrend and we wanna get multiple tests of this level, okay? So you can see here, we got multiple tests. January high over here, March 2020 high, and the August high, okay? Then we want to drag that down to the nearest pivot low, all right? So this is how you draw, this is how I draw Fibonacci channel lines on a downtrend, okay? You get the downtrend, get multiple tests on it, and then you drag it down to the nearest pivot low, and then you'll get your support and resistant levels, okay? Now, this is how you draw Fibonacci channels on an uptrend. This is Triple Q weekly chart. Click on Fibonacci channel. I'll start from this pivot low here from December 18th low, and I'll connect it here to this March uh, 2020 low, okay? So we got two touches. We'll bring it all the way out because the price action is all the way out here, okay? Bring it out. Then we drag it to the highest, the nearest pivot high. So this is how we do it based on an uptrend. And you can see that. Market respecting the levels. We got a bounce here. That's when we got a bounce. Look like a false breakout here. You all right? So we use it for support and resistant levels. You got to identify the trend. So recap, SPY is on a downtrend. You start from the pivot high, identify the downtrend line, and then bring it down to the nearest, uh, the most recent pivot low. And an uptrend, you get your trend line. With these two tests right here, you bring it up to the uh, to the most recent pivot highs. All right, thank you guys. Peace.